fishes all around the world. How did they manage to multiply rapidly to increase our population? So you want to know what's the process? Yes. Follow me, young lady. It's nice to see you. Um, who are you? And what am I doing here? No further questions needed. Um, okay. Earlier, you asked about what is the process. This process is called cell division. Or more specifically, meiosis. Meiosis? is a special type of cell division, which the cell undergoes two rounds of cell division to produce four daughter cells. I have here a more mysterious friend. Oh yeah! In prophase 1, the DNA coils and each chromosome become visible under a light microscope. And remember, this phase is the longest and most complex phase. The homologous chromosomes come together to form tetrad and they exchange segments by crossing over. In metaphase 1, the nuclear membrane disappears and the spindle fibers only attach to one side of each centromere. The homologous pair lines up at the metaphase plate. In anaphase 1, the spindle fibers begin to pull the chromosomes toward the opposite poles taking both sister chromatids with them. Each pole will have a complete haploid set. In telophase 1, the chromosomes reach their respective poles and cytokinesis follows and two daughter cells are formed. Each cell now has only half of the chromosome number because only one chromosome form each pair goes to the daughter cell. During prophase 2, the nuclear envelope disappears and new spindle fibers form. In metaphase 2, the spindle fibers bind to both sides of the centromeres and the chromosomes align at the metaphase plate. In anaphase 2, the spindle fibers pulls the sister chromatids on the opposite sides of the pole. In telophase 2, the nuclear envelope preforms around the sets of daughter chromosomes. Gametogenesis Gametogenesis is the process of formation of gametes. The primary sex organs, the testes in the males, produce sperms and ovaries in the females, produce ova. Gametogenesis is further classified into 1. Spermatogenesis 2. Ovogenesis Spermatogenesis begins at puberty. Significant increase in the secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone which stimulates the pituitary glands and stimulates the secretion of two gonadotropins. Luteinizing hormone LH and follicle stimulating hormone FSH. LH acts on the Leydig cells and stimulates synthesis and secretion of androgen. Androgen in turn stimulates process of Spermatogenesis FSH acts on the Sertoli cells and stimulates process of spermatogenesis. Immature male germ cells, spermatogonia, produce sperms by spermatogenesis. 
Each spermatogonium is diploid which divide by repeated mite division containing 46 chromosomes. Spermatogoniums present on the inner side of seminiferous tubule multiplied by mite division forming primary spermatocyte. Primary spermatocyte undergo meiotic or reduction division forming secondary spermatocyte. Secondary spermatocyte undergo second meiotic division to produce four equal haploid spermatids. Four equal haploid spermatids transform into spermatozoa sperms by a process called spermiogenesis. Sperms moved from seminiferous tubules by process of spermiation. The seminal plasma along with the sperms constitute the semen. The functional sex accessory ducts and glands are by testicular hormones androgens. Structure of a sperm It is a microscopic structure composed of a head Sperm head contains an elongated haploid nucleus, the anterior portion of which is covered by a cap-like structure called acrosome. The acrosome is filled with enzymes that help fertilization of ovum. The middle piece possesses numerous mitochondria which produce energy for the movement of tail that facilitates sperm motility essential for fertilization. The human male ejaculates 200 to 300 million sperms during coitus. 60% must have normal shape and 40% show vigorous motility. Oogenesis The process of oogenesis involves development of an ovum which starts from a primordial oocyte around which two to three layers of cells from the ovarian stroma the outer layer is fibrous and known as theca externa an inner layer which is somewhat vascular and cellular is theca interna the cellular mass is soon separated into two parts by the collection of fluid the liquor folliculi near its center a homologous membrane, the zona pellucida, appears between the primary oocyte and the follicular cells. These cells increase rapidly, forming many layers. The theca layer are differentiated and the follicle assumes a deeper position in substance of the ovary. The primary oocyte divides meiotically, giving off the first polar body and becomes a secondary oocyte. The germ cells become mature ovum after the second polar body is released. During later stages, the fluid filled spaces, the atrium appears in the membrane granulosa layer formed from the cells separated off by the liquor folliculi. The resulting structure becomes a vascular or graphene follicle. As the follicle matures or ripens, it projects out from the ovarian surface as a small cyst-like oval swelling which bursts to liberate the ovum, the process being called ovulation.